been a while. I've been live. Good to see you all. Hope everyone is doing well. Yeah, I'm back in that zone of I don't know what I'm going to be sharing, but I'm here and I feel like sharing something. So whatever flows, I will be sharing something that struck me, which I've also made the question of today is who really dies? It's a question I don't really have an answer for, but it's a question I've been exploring a lot in my path of trying to understand myself, of self-exploration and self-realization. And death is something that is very impediment of a human understanding of who we are and what we are here for. And death is something we're all connected to somehow, always. Uh, in us, in our families, in uh, the earth, in the materialistic sense, in the universal sense, and in the scientific level, it's always happening, you know. Something is dying inside us all the time, the cells, the organs, the body. This death of, um, this destruction is constantly happening, but so is the creation. So death is happening, so is rebirthing, and that's uh, how the cycle of death works. So if we go deeper into that is nothing really dies, you know, it's everything is dying and recycling. So it's, um, why do we have this equation in us with our fears and doubts about death and living life as if we're gonna lose something? Because we're all gonna lose everything. Everything that we think we have on a materialistic level, on an external level, on an experience level, we're not gonna take anything with us. Nothing. It's all gonna be gone. It just happened in a moment and that moment is gone. It's never coming back. And we're gonna just leave everything behind us one day and just move on. That's just the journey of how destruction and creation happens. But till the time that moment comes where we're just completely moving on, how do we choose to live our lives? Do we choose to let life decide our fate or we choose to let our faith in life decide our life you know it's the faith in the process it's the faith in what's happening to us it's the faith in listening to our souls connecting to our hearts and expanding beyond the mind and experiencing life to really understand who we are and death is a very integral part of it any spiritual consciousness practices which don't take people into the essence of death, talking about it, practicing on it, meditating on it, having close co contact with it. For example, I went to Varanasi last month where uh, my wife and I went to the Samshans where they burn the bodies on the Mani Karnika Ghat. And over there, they've been burning bodies for thousands of years. They're burning 200 bodies every day. Constantly, bodies are coming and it's being burned. And when I was there, I felt like I found my temple. You know, it was a place where death was all around me. Everything was being burnt. But I felt so calm and peaceful because I felt like I was in a space where life made total sense to me, where everything became still, everything became numb, you know? And that's what life is. Any moment is just gone. And then there's a new moment. But we choose to keep living that new moment with the old us. But that's not how it works. We have to keep burning as the dead bodies are burning. We have to keep burning all our karmas inside, all our patterns, all our programming, till we operate from a space of just awareness, consciousness, of understanding of what our ego is, how it works with the material world, how, how our interaction with the material world can be a reflection for us to expand internally, and then using that expansion internally to bring to the material world this balance of living in this world all of this understanding through Vedas of uh, the scriptures of Tantra, the scriptures of Buddhism, the scriptures of um, the essence plant medicine practices of the indigenous people, and uh, all these things that are there, you know, meditation, vipassanas, yoga, asana practice, uh, fighting, fighting practices, kung fu, you know, all these martial arts that are there, everything that is bringing us closer to our understanding of the self and helping us expand internally and then how to integrate that into the physical reality. I mean, this is my journey. I'm living this journey and I feel really that death, our understanding of death, our peace with it, our notion 
breaking the notion of death as a one-time thing, but something that's just always happening. And it's something that's inevitable. It's just the nature of reality, of matter, you know? Everything is, everything material is gonna go away. So it's our choice is how we live with that truth of life, you know? So without understanding death, without understanding who really dies, and who is it that really dies? Who do we think is dying when we associate dying? We associate dying with a body, with a person. A person who has a name, who has an identity, who has a religion, maybe who has a caste, who is from a nation, blah, 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 who has these family members and all these things. But if you take out all of that away, the ego aspect of the, of the being, who is it really dying? It's nobody dying, it's just the body. It's just the matter just going back into the soil as soil. That's how it came. So this idea of death is just completely blinding us from living life in understanding that life is happening to us. And it is a celebration. It is just our choice of going through life by never giving up, by never underestimating the essence of what life is. And it's this mystical exploration of the self and the others and of this universe in our interaction with them in every day. And it's just a, such an open book, you know? And all we need to do is just open our mind, free our minds, free ourselves from ourselves, our own ego. We need to really die. And we need to keep dying till this ego state is not our default state where it's more the awareness state that is more default and it's aware of the ego and it's choosing to use the ego to interact with the physical world and other egos in a very systematic way with an understanding of why it's doing and when so that more we can spend time in the awareness state where we are not this body or this mind or this identity you know we're not Kartike, we're not Indian or Brazilian or Canadian, we're just nobodies, you know, nothingness, emptiness, emptiness floating through eternity, you know? Yeah, man, it's a lot of information I'm downloading at the moment. I've been doing a lot of integration this month since I got out of, got out of my injury in my neck. Uh, I had a huge spasm after my trip to Varanasi where this physical dying of things manifested in my body and I went through a physical process of death you know, fun, of really experiencing the pain body and letting go and uh, of birthing something new you know like a mother was in the labor I felt like that after I came back to Goa from Varanasi and uh, it's like uh, becoming a new being altogether and letting go of the old shedding everything and uh, as I'm approaching in a week of my 30th birthday, uh, I really feel like I'm entering, not that I'm very superstitious about numbers or uh, labels of what 30 means or 40 means or 50 means, but I certainly feel that, wow, I, I lived a very crazy last 10, 15 years where I have experienced so much and now I'm just letting it all go to start a new book and see what that book has in store and freeing myself from my own self that was playing the roles and characters of society and himself to be have created a shell of safety and security and fear and um, doubts and insecurities and now as I'm breaking out of it more and more every day like just swimming through the ocean as a free whale and running again and fighting again and um, in my fire again you know because I burnt inside all these things that had to be I had to be let go of had to die had to literally die for me to experience life again with curiosity and humility and um, gratitude and forgiveness 
for everyone and yeah and just try to change the default state and come more from love come more from kindness come more from even kali not just buddha um, be in your shiva be one with jesus you know like take all the good all these people shared with us these values these foundations these teachings this understanding these vidyas and bring them into us and our lives and instead of just talking about it really try to implement them and embody them and try to live that you know spirituality isn't something separate from us it's here with us all the time it's how we choose to live with us every moment and with people around us and it's our choice it's the only thing that we really have because life is just happening to us and so many things will come and do all of these other brings you bring you in situations where all you would be left with is the choice to feel a certain way about it good or bad or uh, think a certain way about it you know negative or positive but there's also a state where you just don't think or feel anything about anything anymore but you're just in that experience as an actor as an observer and as an audience and you're going through states of awareness and interacting with those plays and just moving on and playing your part and um, yeah and really i think it's critical man letting go of fear and it's the fear of the death of the ego is our because that's the only thing that's dying you know it's the only thing that's really dying with the body it's the ego everything that remains becomes free but once we become free from that ego more and more in while in this body we get to experience freedom in the human body and we get to create through that and share that with people in whatever retrospects we can with our essence yeah life is you know modern world has is an interesting time it's a time of great awakening great suffering um physical and mental and emotional but it's a time of great awakening i think more and more individuals young people especially are feeling a spiritual void in their lives you know with themselves with their intimate partners with their friends and families and even work and that is because that something in them is really demanding from them to ask themselves who they are why they're here what does it all mean you know and this curiosity of wanting to know and questioning life and ourselves is not an easy choice to make to go into that because it's an uncomfortable choice it's a choice that will demand from you to look at your fears it will bring you in situations where you won't be comfortable a lot a lot many times but that's where all the growth is that's where all the understanding is that's where all the expansion is yeah it's um i really feel you know this year i've introspected a lot about what i've been doing the writing and all this work and uh, these characters i've been playing and building in the books you know at some point i just became one of those characters living inside a book where life was just a book you know and i kind of forgot to be my soul to just not be acting and not be pretending and not to be a character anymore the author the writer blah 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 in trying to be free of the maya the matrix i became my own prisoner i created another matrix a nicer one more rewarding for the ego the ego is very satisfied you know getting fame getting attention recognition yeah but it's an illusion you know it's our self defense defense mechanism acting us through the ego to not let us see what's all the subconscious stuff hiding behind that ego that is triggering need not desire this need from the ego to feel validated you know to feel like it needs to prove itself to others to be recognized 
like it's worthy and it's a dangerous place to be because and that's where all of us are but such a um, not peaceful place to be you know because you'll never end up actually being in life and just being not trying to be somebody or not trying to become someone and not trying to unbecome someone just beyond all of that and when moments of such such spaces expand in our day to day is it's it just brings you a lot of calmness and ease and peace you know and i really feel the world of today really needs a lot of peace love and um, yeah people just awakening awakening to not be blindly following in the path of becoming enlightened but awakening just to the idea or possibility of who am i what is that exploration can i walk that exploration path where i may never have the answers but my questions will remain and maybe one day i won't be needing any answers because life will just make sense in experience and embodiment of the every second every moment that i'm here so ask yourselves maybe if you feel like who is it that really dying in you and if it's a good thing or a bad thing or it doesn't matter and what is death why are we so afraid of it where is this fear coming from who is it that dies what happens to us when we die i'm not saying i have the answers who knows what's right or wrong but questions can be asked in asking the questions there are many beautiful discoveries to be seen and experienced which can bring us closer and closer and closer to our spirit our essence our great devotion to this life this universe this existence as a whole and our willingness to truly truly just be with it and see what happens you know it's not that complicated it's not that easy to do but it's not that complicated once you're on it all you got to do is trust accept and keep moving forward and hope for the best and have faith in the process until the time you're not dying or the body is not dying it's okay whatever the problems are your mind makes it bigger than what they are it will go away everything is temporary nothing lasts you know we've heard this so many times but it's true it's every day is different we are different every day and it's our choice how different we want to become every day change is good change is inevitable changing to become something to let go of something in being who we truly are every moment is freedom because you're living through your soul in every experience without thinking about the past or the future and you're just there you're one with life <laughs> yeah it's a beautiful experience to have and then be able to share with other people and i really feel like more and more humans deserve to have this experience more and more because yeah man life is life is a blessing free from this mind this maya that contains us holds us accountable to constant suffering or pain it's our choice to become free from it and that's where the strength is that's where the kali is that's where the shiva is that's where the shakti is so the more we arrive in our shivas in our shaktis in our kalis and embrace this destructive process this death process this ego dying process to see what creation comes out of it it's beautiful so i think it's enough for today it's a lot of information and i genuinely hope everyone is doing well and can take some words out of this or not um, to feel whatever they want to feel and lots of love